My name is William DeBilzen. Um, I'm the owner of the gallery here in Delray Beach and also have another gallery in Laguna Beach, California. I started painting and um, had no idea that it would ever develop into what it has become. I paint very intuitively, so I really, when I start painting, I really don't have any idea what's going to happen. I just start painting, start using colors, feeling a balance in the color and in the work, and um, you know, I add all kinds of different elements. All of my paintings are, are mixed media. I'm not. Uh, a lot of times there's rules if you use acrylic you cannot use oil and mix them together but I do. I paint without any rules and I try different things all the time but what has become my signature is the texture in the paintings. So I'll use cardboard, I'll use ripped canvas, I'll use uh, all different types of different materials. I use a lot of French literature. Um, sometimes I even use uh, works of different famous painters. There will be a piece, and I call that my kind of my Picasso and Friends, where our works are connected somewhat. So I'll, I'll add a piece of Picasso or Andy Warhol or some of the, some of the more notable uh, artists throughout history and incorporate their work also into the work. One of the things that people notice when they come into the gallery. They may have seen a photo of the gallery or it may be on a website or um, and when they come into the gallery and they see the painting they notice the texture is much more uh, dimension. The paintings are much more dimensional than what you see in a photo and they're quite surprised at uh, how much texture is on the painting. One of the projects that I'm most proud of is the Marriott Central Park. It's in New York on 57th and Broadway. It's um, the largest hotel, tallest hotel in the Western Hemisphere and um, right in the heart of New York City, so right ne near Times Square. We've got three floors there that we've done. I've done all the elevators have work in it, the conference rooms, there's pillars and, and the lobby. It's a it took me a uh, little over three months to do it, and it, it'll be something that will be, be there for my future family and generations to see. I paint pretty much in, in a series of work. All the series that I do is about my life story, kind of. The romance series shows a lot about a couple being together and there's a heart and there's love and sometimes there's a family there. Another series that's a big part of what I do is a friendship series and there will be several figures in it and it's a time when our friends are special to us. We might not have romance in our life all the time and the friendship series is when our friends are very important to us and we spend a lot of time with our friends. And then there's a, the Alone series is something that we all go through at certain times in our life um, and when we find ourselves um, in sometimes challenging times, sometimes it's the best times of our life when we're spending your time with yourself and, and being alone. So those are the three most popular series that I, that I do. Also the Tropical Landscape series is is another very popular series that I that we sell a lot of paintings with and that's based on my love for the ocean and the Caribbean and being on the island, the simplicity of the island life. That's what most people see in the paintings is there's a simplicity to it but there's also complexity to it. We've evolved um, from the paintings um, that I've done now for like I say 25 years and about eight years ago, started doing handbags. Now I'm doing jackets and um, ties. We've got shoes, we've got bedding, uh, towels. And uh, so there's several different products that we do. The, the handbags are kind of, a, was the introduction into the fashion field. And I've been doing that now full time with Mario Hernandez for the last, maybe going on nine years now. And, um, and that's be become something very successful for both of us. You know, painting is something that um, I think I'll probably do till the day I die. It's something that, you know, in order to do it this long and to still be passionate about it after this many years, it's something that's a gift. 
you discover uh, about yourself that I had no idea was even there. And it's something you develop over the years and um, you have to love it or you couldn't do it this long.